What's up nerds? So if you've been on this channel for a long time, you notice I made a lot of videos about Widgie, but I've been getting comments that they changed their user interface and they have a lot more features since last time I made the video on them. All right, so here I am in the actual Widgie home interface. So you'll notice on the bottom, there's the home, lock, live, and watch. I won't be covering the watch, but I will be covering the other three. So let's kind of go over where each one of these is. Basically on your home screen, you could go ahead and make a large, small, extra large or medium sized widget. And these are kind of nice. It also works for the iPad and Mac OS as well if you need widget that way as well. And what's cool is they all transfer through your iCloud. But let me start off by saying if you don't want to actually go ahead and create your own widgets and if you like think that it might be a little bit daunting for you, which I know sometimes it could be, you can always check out r slash widget. It's a great community that has tons of widgets that you could actually just straight up download straight into the app. Be careful because there are some paid ones on there, but trust me, they're worth it because a lot of times they uh, could actually help your workflow and stuff and save you a lot. Time. If you want to skip any sections, I'm going to go through how to make a widget for each one of these sections. We got home, live, and lock screen. So I'm going to start off with home, but if you want to go to live or lock, you can click into those. But just be aware, it's kind of the same concept throughout all three. So here I am on the home screen, but you'll notice I have the create button. Now the difference between create and manage over here is manage is how you're gonna actually deploy the widget to go on your home screen. Create is just where you can kind of create them. So I'm gonna create a new widget that opens into my notes app. That way I can just do a quick brain dump of something new. So we're gonna go to small. I want a small widget, I'm gonna hit proceed. And here we are, we have the basic layout. So to add a background layer, I'm just gonna go to add layer. And then there's gonna be a lot, so it might be a little bit daunting, but just know every time you wanna make a background, it's always just gonna be a shape layer right here. And then I'm gonna take my two fingers and scroll up on the screen, but do note if you're using the computer version or if you just don't wanna do that, you have these size buttons right here. And so you'll notice that it kind of snaps to the grid, but you can change that. So if you go to micro step, it's gonna move really, really small and you can move it really, really small or small, medium and large, whatever you're trying to move. So I'm just gonna bring it all the way up and then I'm gonna go over to my shape. So here's where I can select what size shape I want it to be. I'm gonna keep it a square, but I can have like circle in the middle or have it be a circle. Uh, but I'm gonna keep it a square for now. Let's go to background. And I kind of want it to switch with my phone's light and dark mode. So that's what these two colors are. So if I click right here, it's gonna switch. And if I go into dark mode, it's gonna switch to light mode. Now, if you did want to customize this, you can come over here and add custom colors as well. And they have different gradients and patterns and different palettes that you can use. But I'm just going to keep it like this for now. So now I could go over here to the far right. And this is not something I'm going to use right now, but something just to keep in mind is the effects you can add to it are pretty cool. You can blur out images. You can have uh, the object be a little bit more transparent. You could round the edges. So there's just some cool things when you're designing widgets. We're gonna come back out here and I'm gonna hit add new layer right here. And so we're gonna make that icon that's a brain so I can make it a brain dump. So we're gonna scroll down and this time we're gonna click on symbol. So on symbol, we can go all the way over to frame and this is kind of where we size it. So you're just gonna bring it with your two fingers and then you're gonna go to symbol. And here I'm just gonna search brain, but they have a lot of symbols included on there. And once I hit search on that brain, I'm just gonna grab this one. And you'll notice I'm not really seeing anything. And that's because the uh, brain widget is actually behind the shape layer, which is my background. So instead you can see that the shape layer is on top. And if, if you've ever used any design software like Photoshop, uh, you'll notice it's kind of the same, but I'm just gonna hit here and hit reorder. And I can bring this up top and then hit done. And you'll notice we're still not seeing anything. And that's most likely because the color is white, which it is. So I'm just gonna invert it. So that way, now every time that I'm in light mode, the background's gonna be dark and the brain's gonna be white or vice versa. And so now that we have that, if I click it, nothing's gonna happen. So in order to click it and make things happen, you're gonna go all the way down to tap action right here. So tap action, I can bring it all the way up and I'm gonna click right here to action. You could uh, do different things with that, but I'm gonna go all the way over to additive button. And right here, I can change what I want it to do. And so at the very bottom, I'm going to external actions and clicking over to open URL slash RSS. And I'm just gonna tap that. And here you can have custom actions. So you can actually write JavaScript code and get super advanced with that. But I'm just gonna have it go into Apple's apps and then scroll down until I see the notes app right here. And if you did wanna make custom shortcuts and make it open into certain apps, you could do that with the shortcuts app. I'm gonna make a video about more advanced widget techniques. So if you wanted to learn about the shortcuts integration and how to make much more advanced things, uh, be sure to subscribe and uh, turn on that notification bell so you know when I drop the video. We're gonna go back. And now that tap action is there, but notice the same thing again, it's at the very bottom. So I'm gonna click here, hit reorder and bring it to the very top. This is all great and I'm gonna hit confirm. And now it's there, it's uh, called Pupus for some reason. Woji always gives it random, uh, random names. But if I go to my home screen, you'll notice it's not there yet. So what actually happened 
is the widget is not deployed it's just created so we're going to go into manage home and then right here i can change which widget i want it to be so if i go to small number four i can click on that one right there and there we go it's gonna be my small widget number four so now i'm gonna come back out to my home screen hit edit and you'll notice I have this customize button that's new with iOS 18, which is coming in the future. But if you wanna learn about it, I got a video right there. Uh, but we're gonna hit add widget and scroll down. And we're gonna see the widget icon right here, but do note it does not have um, any text next to it. That's so they can have blank labels when they're on your home screen. But I'm gonna click on the widget icon and scroll all the way to a small number four. And I'm just gonna hold on this and bring it down there. And so now we get, there we go, it's on my home screen. And when I click it, it should open into my notes app. So everything works pretty well with that. Now let's move on to how to make a lock screen widget. So here on my lock screen, I have these three icons right here and I actually already created the brain icon. If you do wanna learn how to actually create it in the interface, just go ahead to my first section, the home screen section. Uh, but you can see at the top, it says tap to assign for the top part. And then there's the three buttons at the bottom. So these are all created actually with Widgie. If I tap into the brain one, it takes me directly into my notes app and it's super fast with it as well. So that part's super nice. But basically how to deploy this is I'm just gonna go into manage right here and then I'm gonna hit maybe circular eight. And I can pick any ones that I've created or they have some custom ones that are already created. So I'm just gonna have my steps right here. Uh, and so once I go back to my lock screen, I can hold on the lock screen, hit customize, tap into it and right here, I could go and switch Widgie right here. And then I'm gonna scroll all the way to my last custom one, which is eight, and just bring that on there. So notice it's right there. And one thing that you should note is that there is not gonna be any color with these. These actually switch with whatever your wallpaper is or whatever custom color you have on your lock screen. And then the last lock screen widget part is that top tap to assign button. So right here, you could see I have different things that I've written in here. Uh, these are kind of different from all the other widgets. So if I go back into my create tab, go into lock and create new, you're gonna see lock screen plus Apple Watch and you can see the inline button right there. So that inline is gonna be anything on that's at the very top. So if I wanna have something custom up there or like some different things going on, um, I could go up here and then just delete this text. Uh, so once I'm in the text, I just click this data block and then I'm gonna click on the custom text and delete that custom text. Let's say that I wanna see what my agenda is today. So I'm gonna hit calendar events today and it says I have zero, right? So that part's nice, but you can have like whatever today is. So today might be my payday. So I'm gonna put that on there and then I'm gonna go back and then I'm gonna take off this symbol. And right there, it just says payday and that's gonna be the widget. And one thing to note is you can't actually customize where these are. So it's just gonna have to sit to the far left, but one way around that, if you wanted to center the text, you can hit add new right here and uh, we can create some custom text. But in this custom text, we're just gonna hit enter or space a bunch of times right here. Now you're gonna have to play with this a little bit to get it perfectly centered, but I'll leave it like that for now. And then I have to deploy this. So I'm gonna go out and confirm. And one thing to note is you can actually only have one of these inline widgets at, at a time. So I'm gonna go to inline widget spots and then I'm gonna click right here and hit payday. Once I go back out, I can hold on the home screen, hit customize, and then hit tap to assign right here, and then click the widget in line two. And you'll notice it doesn't say anything, and that's because I did had zero calendar events today, but if I did, it would pop up there. And that's pretty much it for this video. If you enjoyed, be sure to like or subscribe. But yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Stay tuned for my advanced widget tutorial, and I'm talking about Claude 3.5, which is the brand new AI by Anthropic, and that's gonna be a crazy video. Yeah, but I'll see you there.